about to more. I just wanted to show you some of the equipment that law enforcement officers have to carry. This is a, a Sam Brown type of a utility belt. This is the back. They have their handcuffs in the back, radio. Uh, they have a retractable baton, which is uh, uh, which is actually relatively heavy, and then their 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 cartridges as well as their belt. Now, why am I sorry as well as the gun? Why am I showing you this? Because uh, uh, collectively, this plus the uh, plus uh, the bulletproof vest that they have probably weighs up to 25 extra pounds. He's actually missing a couple of pieces of equipment here as well. So they try to make this belt as as um, you know as good as possible in terms of uh, the weight, even though it's leather. Uh, and then they also have like swiveling sort of attachments there that swivel. Now, why do they why do they swivel? Because when they sit down in the car, if it doesn't swivel. Uh, this would dig into their leg, making it very hard. And, and the the uh, holster also does the same thing. It swivels as well, which gives them a little opportunity to be more comfortable. Regardless, even with uh, these these modifications, they still get um, uh, paresthesias of their lateral thermocutaneous nerve be just because of the pressure. And then these uh, uh, the items they put in the back here affects their sitting uh, posture and mechanics in their car. So all that will end up leading to problems with a lumbar uh, positioning and end up with low back pain. And then the overload from this, as well as the, as well as, uh, the bulletproof vest, leads to overload of their spine, over their knees, over their hips, and, and officers end up having long-term uh, degenerative problems. So a lot of it has to do with the utility belts and the, and the safety items that they have to wear. And in, and, uh, and in the end, Unfortunately, this equipment leads to problems in and of themselves. They've tried to lighten them up and modify them, but police officers still have to carry these items and it affects their sitting uh, uh, posture as well as the overload, which ends up causing long-term damage. Just wanted to sh basically explain how uh, the equipment that's used to protect actually ends up sometimes, actually oftentimes causing uh, damage and to the spine as well as the shoulders and the knees in uh, law enforcement officers. I've been doing a lot of research on this for a very long time and have identified this as a big problem. And that's why I'm a big advocate for LEOs. You guys take care. I hope this information helped. You understand why police officers suffer from so, from so many um, degenerative musculoskeletal problems. Take care, everybody. Thank you.